here is the hand and we'll start with the most distal portion. These are the phalanges, basically what makes up your fingers. And there is a distal, a middle, and a proximal phalanx in each finger. The thumb only has a proximal and a distal. Then we have metacarpals. Metacarpals are numbered one through five from the thumb to the pinky. So metacarpal one, metacarpal two, and so on. Then we have the carpal bones. So we'll start with the scaphoid. So scaphoid, lunate, trichetrum, pisiform, and then trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. You can remember trapezium under the thumb. It kind of rhymes to um, get one of your T's down in the carpal bones. If we flip it over, we can do it this way too. So we'll start with the scaphoid again. So scaphoid, lunate, trichetrum, pisiform, which is a little P-shaped carpal bone. And then we'll look for the thumb again. So we'll start with the trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. And you could see on the anterior side, this is how hamate gets its name because it has a little hammer-like projection off of the top. And that is the hand.